Hello everyone, this is Kenithia Yellow. I'm glad that you're able to join me today. Um, so today is May the 25th and I'm coming back with a make from I think last week and I just completed it a couple of days ago. Um, so this is Butterick 6018. I did try that on for you in the last video and I tell you it was a little bit too big around the neckline so I did fix that in a way. Um, what I did was added two pleats back here in the back where the neckline is at because it has a facing to it and um, uh, some more darts that's in the back that came with the pattern and I honestly did not feel like I'm picking all of that and trying to you know do it all over again so I just put two pleats in the back and for future references I know to go in and put, add two more pleats in there um, well yeah two more pleats in there are darts I just added pleats this time because of the the neck facing so I had to add pleats instead of the darts because it would have been too light too much bulk in there so I just added pleats. So next time when I go make the pattern, I'll probably just add two extra darts and or take out some and, some and do a very smaller neckline. Now with this one, I believe I did a size 16 neckline. And um, even if I went down to a 14, I think it would be still too big. So um, whenever they have another pattern sales, and I'm you no, know, right now I can't spend any money on buying patterns, but in the future reference, I will um, go and just repurchase the pattern in a smaller size so I can have a smaller neckline because this neckline was just entirely too big for me. But other than that, this dress turned out to be really, really cute. As you can see, it looks really, really good. Um, I love everything about this dress. Remember, this is a six panel skirt. So you have three panels in the front and you also have three panels in the back. It does not have a back zipper. Instead, it has a side zipper right here. The dress is a little too big. I could have totally went down, uh, I would say even two sizes with this. I could have did a, um, because of my waist, I forget the skirt starts here. This is where the skirt starts at. And I believe I did a 20 and I could have totally went down to a 16 for the skirt piece. Um, so next time that I make it, I'm going to do a 16 for the skirt piece and just, cause I need this to be fitter. No, I need it to fit. So 16, I'll try 18 first and then go down to a 16 and see how that does. But other than that, other, other than that, it fits really fine. I really like everything about it. I did go shorter on the sleeves. The sleeve does come a little bit longer. I went shorter because my arms are big and I don't want to be too like, you know, restricted. I want to be able to raise my arms and all that good stuff. So I'm able to do that in this dress. And um, yeah, I love the neckline of it. It has like, it's like a sweetheart neckline almost. But then it has like this little split right here and goes up. I think that's very flattering. And yeah, I like everything else about the dress. It's very, very cute. I did go ahead and hem it. I thought I was going to have some problems doing it, but with a little stain with the iron, it him just fine and this is me this is my dress i look very modest in it it was cool today i walked out and went to the park today with my daughters and then we went to the shopping centers just to look around at some of the high price stores that we would normally not shop at and i didn't shop today there i just looked around because i was curious and um you know i didn't get too hot get, didn't get too sweaty in the dress or anything like that and this is um this fabric came from joanne's fabric and it's one of the cotton fabrics i got a while back in one of my um, haul videos you can see. And yeah, the dress is awesome. I really do love it. I do plan on making this again, but of course I would need to get some more fabric. And um, yeah, when that time come, I'll let you know. But other than that, to talk about the pattern. Um, like it says, butter is 6018, and it's a vintage pattern, it's a 1950s pattern, um, 1952 to be exact. So there's really not much to it. It's, it's a very simple make. Um, note that it's supposed to have buttons that go down here and I actually have buttons for this, but I really think it's fine just the way that it is with this fabric. It's already a busy print. So I think it's okay. Um, just like this. I don't think I need to add any buttons to it, but it was like a plain one that yes, I would add buttons, but without the buttons, I think it looked just, you know, just as good. So my next one, um, I'm going to make view A, that net line right here. I do want to try that one. And I'll probably do another one of these because, you know, I like to make dresses. If I really like something, I make it three, four times just because I like it. And this is one that I really, really like. But um, the pattern is actually easy. It's put as an average pattern right there to make. It's pretty easy. It's serious. It's nothing to it. You can make this dress in a day. Get your, um, cut out your fabric and everything one day with your interface and all that stuff. And then the next day, come back and just sit and sew for a few hours. 
Um, the only tricky part would just be this part right here. It's really not tricky. Just want to be careful when you're going around um, sewing it. But it's it's very simple. You do have a are they bus dart? Yeah. So there's a dart right here. Yeah. So there's a dart right there. And I think there was another dart somewhere else. And I didn't put it in because I was thinking it would be too too snug. I can't remember. So there's a side dart here. And then there's one. I think it's supposed to be a dart right here. And I did <laughs> like I'm fumbling on myself. Sorry. But <laughs> it's supposed to be a dart like come up here. And I didn't put that one in, but I did this one. So it's supposed to be two darts. So make sure you put your other dart in it. I didn't do it because I was thinking it was going to be too um no too big. Too no too small. So I didn't do it. But I did do the back dart and the other ones. But I just didn't do this this dart right here. But I did this one right there. So do your darts. Cause um, yeah, I should have did that one. It probably would fit a little bit better. But other than that, the skirt is so simple like i said you're gonna end up with all right eight pieces try to think so you have one two three four i think it's eight panels you guys because you have your two front pieces your two front side pieces and your two back pieces and your two back side pieces so there's eight it's an eight pound skirt and i think i put six on facebook i'm gonna go back and change that but it's an eight pound skirt it's not a six pound so it's an eight pound skirt and i think it's the reason why i like it so much because it flares out it gives you an illusion of having hips and you know i don't have hips and if the skirt i mean the dress was fitting a little bit better right here it would give me that you know a better look but it gives you that illusion that hips are there and i don't you know don't have any hips i'm asking like a 42 43 something like that so i don't have much hips so but yeah get you this pattern make it i highly recommend it um like i said check do muslin first for the next it, um yeah the neck portion of it because you may be like me you're smaller up here and yeah other than that it should be fine like i said you got a side zip and that's it and you really don't have to use well i don't have to use it because the dress is kind of big so you just slip it on but yeah i really like this i highly recommend it so go get you the um pattern and try it out okay all right, so I see you again probably tomorrow. I have another mate's video um, just to show you the dress that I made that I wore for Mother's Day and I didn't post a video about it. And I give you a review of that, let you know how that went. But other than that, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you again on tomorrow. Bye.